Proverbs chapter 6 and 32. But whosoever committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. And uh, this is just another lesson. This one going to be a quick hit. And I wanted to make a point. Um, I was having a conversation earlier, you know, and the topic was about adultery and dealing from the video that uh, Priest Dunyala put up on Maccabees TV channel. And you had these two guys, which is Maharaka and Kwanaf from the Fopi camp, you know, basically airing out their dirty laundry. And really, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua was exposing these guys, you know, for being some wicked men, okay, adulterous. And they both admitted to committing adultery. You know, Maharaka, he spoke and tried to justify. And he said, yeah, I take the, I take the charge. Under the law of First Corinthians, the seventh chapter, Quanaf, he said he admitted of committing adultery because he had sex with one of the box women and mighty Hebrew woman. And you got all Israel. Well, not say all Israel. You have you have uh, an audience of Israel listening in and tuning into all of this. And with these different groups, they don't have, you know, the correct order. You know, they're kind of going with what they what they think, you know. Now, this video is not made to uh, to really start condemning them guys because they really the Lord is condemning them by their own words. But I just want to shed light on this because this thing that they're putting out there or have been out there is that if a man divorce a woman. That's in his truth. And he divorces his woman because she's unruly. All right. Because she's the serpent authority. And he divorces her. That it's okay for another man to deal with. To deal with her. That's off. That's off. Okay. Now. According to the. According to how. How, how it was. Uh, excuse me. According to the law. You commit adultery. Yes, you supposed to get put to death. The Most High is going to put you to death. All right. And that's now from the very beginning, the Lord made man and woman and whatever a man and that woman, whatever particular woman he had, he have as his wife. They were not to be set apart. They were to be one twine. All right. But then you go into the time of Moses where Israelites, the Israelite men were having a tough time with their woman for their woman being un unruly. You know, um, serpent authority, not being a servant. Uh, Moses, uh, basically, he was allowed to what? Allow the men of Israel to give a bill of divorcement to their woman. And it was set up as if he gives a bill of divorcement to his woman, then she, by law, cannot deal with another man. And if she do, that would be adultery. Her blood shall be upon her. All right. She shall be put to death. Now, when you speed up the time today, here in 2020, you know, all of us, you can say, and you can argue that, that we all adulterers at one point, one way or another. That's true, because we didn't grow up um, knowing that we were Israelites and keeping the laws of the Lord. We was in a Gentile frame of mind. But let me say this. When you wake up to this truth and you acknowledge your sins, you acknowledge what was wrong and what and what's right, it is your honorable uh uh it, it is it is of your honorable self if i'm saying that right to uh live up to those standards as best as you can okay okay now you got these men that's just going around popping all these women who believe in israel and a lot of them going you know they all popping each other the same woman man you know, and our elders apostles here at Great Millstone even told us stories and their epistles and shows on how it was back in One West. How it was a mess. All right. So when you wake up to this truth and acknowledge it, you are held accountable for your actions. 
There's not, there's no way in hell a woman that's with a man of the Lord that acknowledge that this is her husband and they believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that it's okay for you if you get divorced by this man, that it's okay for you to go deal with another man. That shit is off. And it doesn't matter if seven years pass by. Because the honorable thing for a woman to do, if you get divorced, guess what? That's a shame on you. That's a bad name. You're not looking good in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because you were being unruly. All right. You was a serpent authority over the man. Whatever which way it was, you was not doing your job. OK. Unbearable to deal with. You know, very uh, confrontational. You know, you know, you know how women can get. So. If that's the case, the honorable thing for you to do, and this goes out to you, sincere sisters, is that, look, you want to examine yourself. Pray to them, pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, to have him uh, take out them demons off of you and to reconcile with the man of the Lord that you was with. Not to go out here and move on to the next man. That shit is off. That's adultery. And the Most High is going to start killing niggas, man. He going to kill a lot of you guys. That claim that you know to your Israelites and out here committing adultery, having sex with the same woman. That shit is off, man. And this guy, Mahara Kar, was saying, you know, his his uh justification, you know, she said she wasn't dealing with him no more. What the fuck? Listen, me personally, if I know you dealing with another man. Or talking to another man of the Lord. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not even talking to you. I won't even consider you man. Because you don't want to lose your salvation. And getting caught up in adultery. That shit is crazy. Alright. And some of these women are not being honest. They claiming they in the truth. They know. They've been learning for two, three years. But they ain't telling you that they was with that guy. From this different camp. You know. So for us brothers who are in this truth, be circumspect, you know, and, and I wouldn't even put, don't even put your mind upon seeking no wife, as Paul said. Seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So for you women, it is not okay. And you think you safe. See, women don't want to feel trapped because in this world that Esau's, um, in this world of Esau, you got freedom, you got liberty. Matter of fact, scriptures say she that is given much liberty, abuse her own self. So you women, they used to their freedom. When you come into this truth, you feel like you're trapped because you are. Because the way that the Most High designed us as, as being male and female, the female desires is to be to her husband. It's supposed to be a family. It was never made for you to just hop from ride to ride, to go wherever you please and do what you want to do. But because of society and the way that things are and all these distractions, okay, it it, it blinds you. That's the curses. Those are them demons. All right. So the honorable thing for a woman to do is to reconcile, reconcile with your husband. If you done moved on, when you come to the seat of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you're gonna have to answer for that. And then what it then and then what is the Lord supposed to do? You know, I'm not speaking as if I am the most high. But I'm thinking in situation, you know, in my humble, uh, you know, humble opinion, you know, when you look at it in a situation, if he's one of the elect and you lay down with him and the Lord is delivering him. And then you lay down with one of another Lord's elect. Which one you going to be with? You're going to have to go. All right. Now, according to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. If he do other do what do do whatever else that of his will, that's what he does. All praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But when you sit down and weigh the situation, you're gonna get put to death. All right, because somebody committed adultery. Okay, unless the Lord, you know, uh, 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 clean uh look, looks over that and says it's not adultery, because he has the full judgment at the end of the day. He has the last word. But who wants to play that type game? With your salvation. Who wants to have that on their conscience? You know? So a lot of you women that's been with 
multiple men in Israel, from this brother to that brother to that brother, you are going to get put to death, man, unless you repent. Shit. You know? And I just say, unless you repent to be humble. Because other than that, the Lord is going to destroy you, man. That's some foul, wicked shit, man. You know, so Proverbs 6 and 32. But whosoever committed for adultery with a woman, lack of understanding. Them guys show a lack of understanding, man. Because they doing what they want to do. And they just popping all of these women that call themselves believing. And he's just defiling y'all. Y'all, All you women is being popped under them and y'all together and y'all dipping. And y'all trying to be out here and still on a comment board and doing all that. Listen, man, you're a lost cause, man. All right, there's plenty of other women out here that don't even know about the truth. And guess what? The Lord going to bring them to the men of the Lord. You know? So, think, take heed to that, man. This truth is serious. All right? The laws of, laws of the Lord is not over with. These guys are, say the law, use the law for their behalf on against others. But when the law applies to them, they bend it. With this thing that women could just be with another man. You know, that's why these women, are, they flock into these different camps like that. And they under their comment boards, they in their congregation, going to these ceremonies and holy days and Passover. Because these men get these women to pass because there's nothing but wickedness going on. All right. And that's why a lot of these women don't like Brothers and Great Millstone. Well, it's a lot of women who do like Brothers and Great Millstone, but... For the women who hate Great Millstone, the brothers in Great Millstone is because we're stern, strong men. Okay? Strong in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, stern in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, according to his word. Alright? If it's not of the truth, then it's sin, man. Alright? If you're not moving right, then you're going to get cast out. Straight up and down, man. That's why, um, you know, uh, we say here we have 100% truth, man. You know? The right way to manner yourself in this this time, this evil time we living in. Why you want this on your conscience? These dudes are fucking wicked, man. All right, and if you out there doing that, then guess what? The Lord gonna destroy you. But whosoever committed for adultery with a woman, lack of understanding, he lack of the understanding. Just because that we all committed adultery already, because we was in our Israelite state of, uh, excuse me, our Gentile state of mind. In the world, the Lord say he winketh at our ignorance. He winketh at that. But now that we in the truth and we acknowledge the truth, we held accountable to that. We don't just bend uh, the law so that we can get by and then hold the law against you when you break the law. The law applies to all of us. And the laws of the Most High is not done. Okay? Matter of fact, Baruch 4 and 1. Okay? The laws endure forever. He that cometh into it have light, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, have life. It says, but whosoever committed for adultery with a woman, lack of understanding, he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. You destroying your own soul, man. Because if you out here committing adultery, all right, you women jumping from man to man, you men, you know, knowing that this man dealt with that chick, and then you want to deal with her, and she tell you, oh, I ain't been with her, I ain't been with him in seven years. It's been four years, you know, and you be like, well, she by herself left out here to commit adultery. You should not be dealing with that woman, man. You an adulterer, man. All right. Yeah. And it's another thing of knowing and not knowing, you know, knowing that this woman dealt with him and him or whatever. Why would you even deal with the woman? And it's another thing of not knowing because you had no clue. So may Yahweh Bashmael shall show some mercy because you didn't know. So it's a thing of knowing and not knowing as well in certain situations, right? Because that shows the sincerity or that shows a motive of you being an adulterer. Okay? It shows your intentions, your true intentions. Now, another thing I wanted to make mention because I didn't say it during the video is that uh, this applies to even uh, women, men who don't believe. Because you a man of the Lord, and you know this woman may be at the job, and her dude ain't in the man, he ain't in the truth, he don't believe, he a nigga. You find out he a Muslim or some or whatever. 
you can't deal with that woman if she's with that man. All right. Just because they're not in the truth. That's adultery. We're held accountable once we repent to this truth, man. All right. You women, you're held accountable once you repent to this truth. There's no way if this in accordance to law, the man have to be put. The, well, the man have to have passed. He has to, you know, go back into the spirit world. He died. Then it's OK for you lawfully to do. But we're rehearsing the righteous acts. All right. So, yeah, we all committed adultery. But once we wake up to this truth and acknowledge we're held accountable to do the right thing. And if not, we don't. And if we don't do the right thing, then we're, 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 we're held to the consequences of not doing the right thing. And that goes from man first down to these women. You know. Like I said, the honorable thing for a woman to do if you get divorced is to examine yourself, pray. You know, to Yahweh Bashim Shai, change your ways, ask the Lord to take those demons off you, and then ask the Lord to re reconcile yourself back with your husband. All right, not to go out here and move on. All right, because that's nothing but adultery, man. And then you got a jacket. We all got to come to the seat of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and we're all going to be judged, whether good or bad, as the scriptures say. So with that, Shalom. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise to Yah, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.